my mum thinks I'm a dickhead. So... <laughs> Beginning to understand why you guys took your mum to the Oscars, yeah? Yeah. Where do I take my mum? Where? <laughs> Lady Godiva statue in the city centre. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a little pervert that pops out of a clock. <laughs> to have a clock. So no wonder she thinks I'm a dickhead. Because you know this, do you know the story of Lady Godiva? Is that there was a woman rode through town naked on a horse, but no one was meant to look. She was a noble woman. Yeah. This was supposed to have happened in Coventry. Was yeah, no, it did, it did happen in Coventry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> but, but one one person popped out and had a look at her. It was like a peeping tom. <laughs> and this is who your mother saw. And and so, a... yeah, so somebody decided to immortalise that in a clock <laughs> in the city centre. So they immortalised the, the peeping tom, the pervert. Yeah, this dude came out with a raging boner at twelve o'clock. <laughs> When By we the were... way, I can see you guys want to go to Coventry now. <laughs> yeah, 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 put yeah, that on your list next tour. <laughs> now, guys, how long were you teaching for? It was quite a long time. Is that five, six years of your life? I mean, you train for a year. Yeah. So yeah. that's when they test to see if you can actually do it. Can do it. If you're good enough. So then you get a little certificate and they're like, yeah, you can teach. I think I only then did it for about three years before I stumbled into it. And you quit about six years ago, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. What was the day? What was it made you decide you want to quit? Had you started doing comedy already? Not really. Again, like, it's, I suppose it's a story worldwide. When you're from a working-class, tough town like Coventry, you don't really do this acting stuff. It's not a dream that you do. You, you, go, you work, you go to school, then you die. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I stumbled into comedy, it was still really surreal. And I, I was at a time in my life where, like, for the first time, I was being sensible. We just had my daughter. So, everything's going OK. Guz is, you know, behaving himself for yeah, once. Keeping it together. Yeah, yeah. And then and, and the comedy thing started kicking off. And so, I remember someone who's really important, super pivotal, she's called Jill Isles. She was the producer on Man Like Moby. Uh, she didn't believe me. She's like, oh, you must have done stand-up and stuff for a few years. I'm like, nah, man, we're just... We're in Cov. If you don't believe me, come and have a look. Yeah, yeah. So, she travelled from London to Coventry to meet me in school, and I only had an hour slot. So you were still working as a teacher? Still, yeah, still working as a teacher. you started making Man Like My Beat? Y yeah, yeah, at the same time. So she came to see me, and, like, the first memory she still tells me is that when she got there, like, I was all hot and flustered, and I was breaking up kids, because one of the kids had told the other one that he looked like David Cameron. Oh. <laughs> so they were swinging it out. No wonder there was a fight. <laughs> yeah, I know, because that kid was like, yeah, David Cam Cameron shagged your mum. It was a very serious situation. <laughs> to break that up. It was, yeah. very, it, was, it was very serious. So you were in a very tough situation there, but showing off, no doubt, your skills in diplomacy. Well, well exactly. Well, a little bit. Yeah. I put them both in a cupboard, but it worked. So... <laughs> it's fine. Didn't you put one of your fellow teachers in a cupboard once? Yeah, he was a dickhead as well. Yeah. <laughs> Only because he was a hater. So he snitched on me uh -oh. and told, like, the senior leadership team, like the principal and stuff, that I hadn't been marking my books. Had you, had, had you been marking your books? I had to be marking the books, but that's my point. You're not supposed to snitch. You're not supposed to snitch, so I just locked him in the cupboard because he's pissing me off. You locked him in the cupboard? <laughs> um, I like the sound of your teaching skills. 